Alright guys, welcome back to episode 4 of Minecraft Let's Build a Zoo. I'm here with Yo Copies, and in case you didn't notice, things look a little different. Um, so let's just compare this grass to that grass. Apparently, World Edit has a setting where you can change a biome. So I'm gonna be doing that with like all the enclosures, and it's pretty awesome. I can make this look deserty and spanny. This one, I went a little bit off, but platypus enclosure looks swampy now. Great, and I also this should be episode five, but over here, I recorded an episode and it recorded one second. This is the zoo entrance and the tickets. It really stinks. I could have just broke everything and did it again, which I didn't want to. I mean, it's not exciting as doing a zoo enclosure anyway. So, this is the zoo sign. It holds in on purpose and vines to make it look kind of old. Probably should have some of those vines. They're going a little crazy. But you can't do that with the sword. And I also have these ticket booths. Tickets and a villager, an anvil, and a chest. And you're probably wondering, because there's a door over here, villagers can come out doors. I have two barrier blocks here, so they can open the door, but they can't get out. So sometimes they just stand at the door, like, spaz opening it. It's pretty funny. <laughs> anyway, today we are going to... We are going to be... Go Start over. We're going to be doing a... An enclosure on Smashing Rhinoceros. So I need to go ahead and figure out where they live. It's a pink egg. You know what, guys? I'm going to do this off camera and I'll be back when I find out where they live. Okay, guys. I have found the Smashing Rhinos. They live in the jungle. So we're going to be doing a jungle style exhibit for them. It's going to look like this. Um, with, you know, with the wood and the fences, so we can get it right up here. I want to do like a few enclosures like this, like maybe a tapir or like a moose or something. First, I just want to grab. Let's start with three high. I'm gonna try to do this wall thing. How come it's not working? First position. There we go. Let's try set log four. Log three. Oh, okay. So I think log one is oak. So maybe once you get to four, it does it horizontally. That's kind of neat. Let's actually go one more. So. So we can just go overlay. Sorry guys, I'm not going to do my fridge. Overlay. I think it's log three. Yeah. And we just do the same thing. We want to grab these two things and we just want to we're doing. Knock some down, bring some up. Some slabs. Yeah, pretty simple. That does look quite cool. The way they're different, instead of just copying the same side. Alright, now what I want to do is move the back. Now I don't think I'm going to make it the exact same size along the back. So I think for a, a Sumatran Rhino, because I think they're quite smaller than a white Rhino and a black Rhino, which are the African ones. I live in the desert, and those ones are the big boys. <clears throat> Let's start with... Mm. That. 
got a good size. Okay. Mm. Sorry about that. Um. All right, that's good. I think that's good. Yeah. Pull that down. Same thing. Let's just keep doing that. Boom, we're up to the same height. Let me just go. Bam. And that block. That wind up correctly. Sure, let's do it. And overlay. Set. And I need to move one. That's better. Put one too high. So I can simply do this number. That looks pretty good. Oh, I still need to get the back there. Okay, guys, I'm back. I did all of the back as well as the fence on the front, and I really need to show you guys this amazing biome changing command. And you want to do it a little bit outside of where you're actually going to change it to, because, you know, when two biomes collide, it kind of, like, mixes the colors together. I want to make sure I don't get jungle stuff in this enclosure. I'm going to do it right here. Let's go backslash backslash. By the way, you need to have world edit installed to do this. Or no, is it? It's, I think it's set biome. Jungle. And then all I need to do is save and click the title. Single player YouTube too. Sorry, it's jets. And that's odd. Sometimes you actually have to do it a couple times. I don't know why. But it only fills in chunks sometimes I did that. So let's just try it again. Let me do it a little bit farther out this time. Set. Biome Jungle. Give him quick title. New fire, E22. Sorry, I'm saying every button I push. And there you are, you now have jungle biome in this little square. Okay, it looks like yeah, see a couple blocks are affected. You can see right here. This is why you want to do it a little bit out. You don't want inside there looking like that. Anyway, back to the enclosure. We're like seven minutes in and haven't even built anything yet. So let's just go ahead and start with a little bit of terraforming. Like what do I want the ground to be? I obviously want to do a couple little mounds <clears throat> of you know like dirt and everything. So let's just start that. There's a little mound there. I also just do some little chunks of blocks. For this one, I think it's going to be pretty simple flooring. Not going to be a whole lot of ups and downs. 
I do also want to kind of scrub this quite well. Maybe I also have like a little river going through the middle. Let's actually do that. Hmm. Alright, I guess I'll just start over here. Because this could be a little pool of water it starts in. We can just go out a little bit. And then white again. That looks okay for, you know, a quick little water feature. <laughs> little look. Bleh. It'll look a lot better once I actually have water in there. And this is so nice that I can just change the volume with a couple of buttons. Right, and these nice and tall walls build up against them as well. So, mm hmm, you know what? I have an idea. Why don't we? Grab both of these. Maybe I make. A little waterfall flowing into that. Something like so. Maybe the water will go right there. Just have some rocks. This. Try to make it so they can't escape. You make this a little taller in this area. Sorry guys, my recording ended. The only thing that happened is I filled this in with water, and I have to say that looks pretty cool. That's quite nice. Now I say we add some shrubs. Maybe actually, I don't know, I feel like jungly places actually do have a few rocks. Not just in Minecraft. Maybe just put some rocks by the river's edge. So. Now I think we fill it with trees and we're set. Some jungle sapling. Maybe we could try to, you know, change the trees around a little bit. Last time I tried doing that. And that enclosure did not end well. So I always like when I'm doing a watery area. I like putting at least one tree right next to it. Uh, I'm thinking whether or not I want to do a giant tree. Now I don't think I will. Because I feel like doing like a chimpanzee enclosure or something. The trees really affect how the enclosure, you know, works and functions and everything. I know they don't really mind trees, I don't think. They, they probably hide under them and that's it, to get away from the, get away from the heat. Let's begin, let's move it inward a little bit to make sure they don't try to escape. Do a couple little shrubs like that. I don't get over there. Alright. Actually, I want to make a shorter tree, so what I can do is just like down a little bit. Did that work? Kind of did work. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. This is how you can make a bush, maybe. Maybe go down five. Um, oops. It just made a shorter tree. I don't know what's up with jungle trees and being so long. I don't remember them being so tall. I don't know. I have to say, that looks a lot better than I had expected. You now, usually when I'm building stuff like this, I have a vision and it looks great. 
I try to do that vision, it looks terrible, and then I improvise and it doesn't look bad. That's, that's what honestly usually happens. But I mean, it, it, it works out. <laughs> Looking around. I think doing three or four more of these just down a line would look pretty cool. By the way, guys, since, you know, since I've recorded last, I did add those paths. So, let's see here. Maybe we just get some more taller grass. I kind of, I want the people to be able to see the rhino, but rhinos, rhinos aren't very tiny. I could put a lot of shrubs in here and you'd still be able to tell where the rhino is. I do think, there's plenty of shade from trees. Let's get some vines in here. These, these vines are different. I like bamboo. So I don't want someone in there. I guess we could just do guess we could just do some vines going up. Sorry guys, I'm having trouble speaking English today. I don't know why. Do some vines coming off the trees, do some normal vines coming off. Spam these everywhere. I really hope the entire recording isn't just hearing Um Alright. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what else we can do. I really... I don't know, I don't have any right ideas yet. Okay guys, after looking at this for a little bit, I had an idea. Also, <laughs> sorry, I keep like interrupting myself and forgetting how to talk. Um, oops, didn't actually break that. I did get some zoo and animal... Zoo and wild animals mod. And we're in here, but jungle trees are the ones that do grow the beans. Good. Do some of those pod things around the trees. Give them that extra. Give them that extra bit of foliage. Actually, we need to look in the zoo and animal. The zoo and wild and whatever. Z A W A, however you say it. I don't know if it's Z-A-W-A or Zawa or... Let me how these just make them big already. I forgot there's different sizes. They look like tree pumpkins. They look like to me. Okay. Let's see, let's just give it a quick look and see if there's any... Great plants. We could do some fan pong. Try that. Um, I'm just grabbing random stuff at this point. Let's try these. Fan pump they did use over there. I mean, they look pretty cool. They look like deserty and beachy and jungly at the same time, so... I'm gonna use them for all of those. <laughs> these in here... Um, one more. Okay, let's try these plants. I think that looks amazing. I think that's all we need. This is the enclosure right here. I do, however, need to see what kind of stuff they like. So let's get the smash rhino up here. Some rhino. I don't know if these guys are in groups or not, because I know, like, the big rhinos in Africa, they live by themselves. Um. You like leaves? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna do balls. <laughs> Cause it ties me in a scratching post. I don't know. This this mod they do some weird stuff for the enrichment. Like there's like a tire swing for a giraffe too. I think I might need like the enrichment because I think they die if they don't have the right enrich or if they don't have enough enrichment or something. Pretty sure that's turned off, so they'll they'll live. Quickly. So guys, let me know what you think of the graphics, because I know the graphics on the recording are honestly quite doo-doo, but the graphics on my computer are not bad at all. So I'm thinking about recording, switching recording softwares, 
but I don't want to do like a good recording software that will bring my computer down to 10 FPS. Oh, why are we only at 30? Is it all those plants? We were at 55 minutes ago. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I gotta hurry this along. Just get an ant that is attached to the tree, so I can help do on like that. So it has the rope. Give it a nice touch. These guys are fighting, so I might have to get rid of one. I won't. I won't kill it. That that's just wrong. In this zoo, if we need to get rid of something, do is I'll show you. Yeah, let's get a, let's get a rat so I don't feel bad. Simply just get down your rat. Dude, that's quite a nice rat model. <laughs> Take the rat and delete it from existence. I didn't kill it. I just made it so it doesn't exist anymore. Um, anyway, this is a pretty awesome enclosure. I think this is like one of the best things I've ever done. At least, at least here, dealing with zoo enclosures. I don't know. You know, it doesn't take like a whole lot of skill to build this kind of stuff, and it's just fun and easy to just put some fences down, put down some trees, and put an animal in it. So I'll see you guys in the next one.